Oggi vi Today, voglio parlare di I come ci si lava le mani. How you wash your hands. Why is it so important to wash your hands? Doing so can avoid what is called indirect contagion. Before, we said that COVID-19 can be transmitted through direct contagion. Through what are droplets, 0.5 micron salivary droplets, half of a thousand of a millimeter. Extremely small, invisible, can float for meters in the air. This is the direct contagion. By speaking and breathing close to people, we can emit these small droplets that can go to infect. We have talked about the usefulness of the mask and its insulation regarding this type of problem. What we have next is the indirect contagion or the contagion that occurs by touching areas that have the presence of COVID-19 and subsequently touching the nose, mouth, and eyes with one's hands. I have told you that various surfaces such as cardboards, steel, and plastic can maintain the presence of COVID-19 for hours and days if not properly cleaned with suitable substances. This also applies to asphalt itself, the floor, and the sidewalk. They all can maintain the presence of COVID-19 for days, so our hands, which touch objects, things that we use, can be a terrible means of indirect infection. Therefore, I put great importance on washing our hands well following a correct procedure. We surgeons are trained precisely to do this because you know that in the operating room, we must carefully wash our hands with a specific method and specific products both before the intervention and after. We put the safety of our patients at the forefront and we protect ourselves as well. So, the importance of hand washing for us surgeons is a fundamental thing and I would also like to pass it on to you. Now, let's go over there to the sink to show you a step-by-step -step process of how you will have to wash your hands and wash away COVID-19 without having any chance of indirect infection. First of all, here is what you need to have in your sink. Obviously, soap, a sanitizing wipe, and alcohol or sanitizer. Now let's see what the procedure is. Of course, turn on the faucet, better if you use hot water, obviously without burning your hands, but better if hot. Wet your hands and get at least halfway through your forearm. Then apply the soap on your hands and leather. At this point, the washing begins and to help you with the time, begin to count, use 1001, 1002, 1003, up to at least 1015. We wash the backs of our hands, the palms of our hands. We reach the wrist and part of the forearm. Then, you begin to wash evenly between the fingers in this way. Wash your thumbs and continue this kind of action. Then rinse the soap off and do another soaping with the same method. Count about 15 to 20 seconds each time. The more you wash, the better. Remember, your wrists and forearms and then rub your palm, the back of your hands, between your fingers and thumbs. This is very important. At this point, rinse the soap off again. It will not be good to close the tap with clean hands because you open it with dirty hands. Now, 
So, take your sanitizing wipe that contains a disinfectant, perhaps an alcoholic solution, and go to your tap using it. It will be better if you will clean your sink and disinfect this area well too. At the end of the procedure, use the sanitizer which, of course, must be placed on the hands, between the fingers, wrists, and forearm. I know, it may seem a bit long, but very necessary. Know that this is a fundamental thing, so we could limit the indirect contagion of COVID-19.